Do you want to know how to hide someone's identity? Today, I'm going to show you four different ways that you can. Let's go. Hey everybody, what is going on? My name is Eric Bullard. Thanks for watching this. Let's get right to it. The first way is by Silhouette. This is my favorite way. It's a very simple way. It looks great and there's nothing to edit in post. The key is to get the lighting right. All you need is a single backlight. You light the wall behind the person and they appear as a shadow on the screen. The second way to hide someone's identity is to use a mask. Shoot your interview just as you would any interview. But then when you go to edit, you need to use a mask. First, duplicate your layer. Then, draw a mask around the person's face. Then you want to go to effects and use Gaussian blur to hide their identity. The third way you can hide someone's identity is to use a camera focus blur. I think this might be the most creative way, but basically you just use an object in the foreground and get your camera close to it. Focus on the object and your subject's identity can be hidden in the background. You could use candles, flowers, a baseball, pretty much anything you want to make this an interesting looking shot. Way number four, shoot the subject's hands. Instead of showing the interview's face, use their hands or feet so they don't have to show their face. One last thing to think about when you're hiding people's identity is you might also want to disguise their voice. To disguise somebody's voice, you want to click on the audio file for the clip you want to change. Go to audio effects, then look for pitch shifter. Drag and drop that onto your audio clip, then go to individual parameters, and you can make it deeper by dragging it to the left or higher by dragging it to the right. That is four different ways you can hide someone's identity using video. Which do you think was the best? Which do you think was the easiest? Let me know down below in the comments. Also, if you found this tutorial helpful, hit that thumbs up button for me, like this video, also consider subscribing so you don't miss any tutorials in the future. Thanks, I'll see you in the next video.